Uh, I got some thunder boomers coming in. It was all sunny about a half hour ago. Still got sun where I'm at. That's looking southeast towards, or south, yeah, southeast. Blue sky to the north. Wander over this way or not. I heard a big boomer. Big boomer a couple minutes ago. You can see there's a shower over there. I'm getting to be a big one. As long as it doesn't light off any new fires. Hey, Northwest Hiker, there's my field day setup. I got a 20 meter rotatable dipole right there. And let's see, three element six at 20 feet. What else I got over there? There's a 15 meter dipole up in the tree. 20 meter dipole between those two trees at about 50 feet. And then way in the back there in that tall tree, there's, that's my 80 dipole, and there's my 40 meter dipole, up about, oh, probably about 50 feet, 60 feet or so. Beautiful sunny day, this is Friday, I'm all set up, ready to roll tomorrow. I don't have anything up on 10. I may put my IMAX up. I can use my 80 meter dipole. It loads up on 10, fine. I doubt 10 will open, but maybe it will. It's been a few signals on six. A little bit of wind right now. Today's the nicest day I've had. It's been thunderstorms forming every day, every afternoon, so. It's nice and sunny out today, about 80 degrees, beautiful weather. This is a cool spot, about 10,000 feet. Beautiful area. It's been up above 100 degrees in the valleys all week. Record temperatures the last three, four days, so it's nice to be up high. It's a little cooler. It's been getting down in the low 50s, upper 40s at night, so it's comfortable. Sleeping weather. All right, I don't know where Rocky is. I think he's sleeping underneath the camper. Now I'm down by the fire. This might be my last campfire. I'm gonna try to get packed up and get out of here tomorrow. I probably won't get out of here until Wednesday. Today's, yeah, today's Tuesday. No, today's Monday. I don't know. I got music going, so I'll probably get dinged, but Thought I'd throw out some video, burning up all my firewood. <laughs> Had a big pile of nice dry firewood, so I figured I might as well burn it up. A lot of firewood. I got a little crescent moon showing up. Had some thunderstorms. Uh, boomers came through this afternoon, and it actually rained for about, poured pretty good. Hailed and rained for about an hour two hours this afternoon. I took my buckets out and collected about eight gallons of rainwater, so I'll use that to put my fire out. Although I've got quite a bit of gray water I could use. That works well for making sure your campfire's out. I've got fire restrictions on the next district south of here. Uh, nothing for this area yet. I was checking the Forest Service website. And I'm in the Carson National Forest and still okay to have a campfire. After the rain today, um, the Bonita fire, which is about 15 miles north of me, northeast, uh, that's 95% contained, so they're getting a good handle on that. I think that's up to about, about 8,000 acres. 
are pulling off most of the, the crews and go into maintenance mode. So the rain that we got today probably helped that fire out. I heard them talking on the scanner. They, they cut out early. They said it was raining pretty good up there. So that fire should be pretty much done. And the Cayeti, or Cayeti fire I think was down south of me. I don't know where those clouds are, about 10 miles south. That was really burning about a week ago. That was a fire I was worried about, and it was burning east and away from me, so. I was kind of sandwiched in two, two good fires. They all went south and east of me. That's good looking east, so. And I have the caldera and uh, all these open grassy meadows around here, so that was pretty much a fire buffer for that Cayeti fire. And that Bonita fire is far enough north and east that there's roads and mostly just grassland and lower valley areas, so I wasn't worried about that coming my way. I had a pretty good column of smoke blowing up about a week ago out of that Cayeti fire, so that's always cause for concern. The uh, weather's been great. Been in this area about two weeks and it's been about 80, low 80s, I think is the max I got. I think I got up to about 84 here three, four days ago. We had that heat wave. All the other areas in New Mexico were in the hundreds. I got up to 112, I think, in Roswell, so. That's like record time temperatures all through the Southwest. I talked to people in California, Southern California and Phoenix, Southern Arizona, and it was 120, I think, in Phoenix. Man, that's getting a little too warm. Um, if I get out of here, to, well, I won't get out of here tomorrow. It'll probably be Wednesday. I'm probably gonna head up into Colorado. I haven't quite decided. I may head west. I got to get back to Oregon and Washington in the next like three, four weeks. So I'm going to be heading that direction, making some stops along the way. I'm not a big, huge rush, but I have about four weeks to get back. All right, Northwest Hiker, I'm out of here.